What's going on all? It's the aftermath. Tank Davis and no other than Terence Bud Crawford. Tune into Jay's channel. Um, if you're new, man, hit the red button. Thanks for tuning in, man. You know, I've got a coffee today. Um, thanks for your time as always, man. Thanks for stopping in if you're, you know, regular. I always appreciate your time. That's for sure. But, um, as I was saying, you know, Terrence Bud Crawford, Tank Davis, you know, finally you're making moves here. Um, now, Tank Davis has stated that, you know, they've just been protecting him. You know, Mayweather promotions, Mayweather, you know, they've been protecting him. His team has been protecting Tank, you know, from the big fights. He doesn't want to fight rolling. Um, now, this is Tank's last fight in the contract. So after this fight, he will be a free agent and he is already saying that he wants to fight the winner of um, Cambosis and Haney, you know. So this is great to see, you know. It's about time he's, um, you know, he started talking. Obviously, he was waiting for his contract to to finish. Um, I'm guessing the contract would have, you know, there would have been a lot of figures in it. And um, he's also mentioned that, you know, they've been selling tickets in advance, you know, just to make sure that um, they're selling out here. So, I mean, um, I'm excited about that, you know. I've, I've always said, you know, Tank Davis is a, a great talent and um, we're going to see him in the big fights for sure, you know. I mean, he's going to roll over roll. If that's, that's definite. He's going to knock him out. He's going to knock him down. He's going to finish him off. I don't see that fight lasting more than six rounds, um, in my opinion. Um, that's how I see that fight. Now, let's talk um, Terence Bud Crawford. Um, apparently, he has been offered a two-fight deal with the PBC. Now, he is also a free agent. So, Tank Davis will be a free agent after his fight against Rowling. And Crawford is a free agent. You know, as you all know, he walked away from Aram after the Porter fight. And he said, you know, um, it's time to move on. You couldn't give me the big fights. This is straight after the fight, you know, right in Aram's face. You know, he's... Um, he was certain that he, he needed to take his own path, you know, and that's what he's done here. So, he's possibly going to fight... A two-fight deal with the PBC, and um, he's already saying that he wants um, the winner of Charlo and Castano. Um, but I don't think that he will go to go through that route. I don't think that he will shift and wait. I see him fighting um, Spence or Ugas. You know, I see him fighting possibly um, Thurman. You know, these guys are all in his class. And um, we will see what happens with that, you know. Um, a two-fight deal. Um, if, I'm, if I'm Crawford, I'll be waiting for that um, Ugo Spence fight. Being at ringside, you know, calling out the winner and doing a two-fight two deal with them. You know, that's what I would do if I was him. Well, that's great news, you know, that Crawford is um, looking to get back into the ring. Um, he needs to, you know, stay active. And um, and that's great, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm stoked about that. Um, you got to also keep in mind that um, there's another guy on the block, you know, Boots Innes, he's fighting Clayton, and he is fighting for the IBF Eliminator, so I mean... Whoever wins that fight will challenge the winner of um, um, Spence versus Ugas. But that being said, you know, that fight's only in May. The Spence versus Ugas fight's in April. So, I mean, um, if Crawford's quick enough, you know, he can get in and um, seal that fight. Um, as you all know, you know, once you become mandatory, you can push for the fight. Um, but... 
I think that the Spence versus Crawford fight is just too big. And I believe that they will find ways to work around that um, RBF eliminator um, to make sure that the Crawford versus um, Spence fight will go ahead. I believe that it will go ahead for sure. I believe that that fight will definitely happen this year. Um, that is the biggest fight in boxing. And um, I don't see why that fight could not happen. You know, I mean, obviously it could not happen if Ugas wins. Um, but. You know, Spence at the moment is looking in tremendous shape. You know, the best shape in his life, in my opinion. I don't know how his coordination is, you know, with the eye and things like that. I don't know if his eye will, will play up in the fight. But in terms of his actual shape, he looks like he's in tip-top shape at the moment. You know, ready for the Ugas fight. He means business. Um, but yeah, man, it's... Um, it's looking great for boxing. It's looking great for boxing, you know, that's for sure. Um, I'm excited about it. And um, it's about time Tank starts finding top guys, you know. It's about time. And um, I believe that we will also see a, tank, a, a big Tank fight this year, at the end of the year, you know. Or um, possibly in, you know, the fall. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we will see, definitely see great fights. Now, um, speaking of great fights, um, Dillian White versus Fury is coming up. And, you know, I'm, I'm really looking at that fight thinking where's the promotion you know that fight's very strange at the moment you know we no one's promoting it um as in you know there's not much happening press conferences and things like that i mean the fight's only a month away i don't know what the deal is um i see a lot of back and forth with um dillian white's lawyer and frank warren you know i'm not sure what the deal is um with that but um if the fight doesn't go ahead, you know, Dillian White's going to play his biggest shot in his career. You know, it'll be very silly if he doesn't cooperate. Um, but, um, hey, man, I think it's going to go ahead. And I'm excited for all the fights coming up, man. I mean, Spence versus Ugas is around the corner now. You're looking at, you know, a three-week window. You know what I mean? I think, it's, I think it falls on April the 14th or something like that. Um, it's definitely on my calendar, I'll have to check that out, but you know, I know it's soon. So I mean, hey, I'm excited about the fights, man. I'm excited to be a part of talking about it, you know. Um, and I'm, I really do appreciate all your guys' time, and I appreciate you guys stopping in. Um, especially the ones that watch the full video, you know, I've, I've seen a, a couple... You know, not everybody, but I know that there is, you know, a few that do watch the full video. And, you know, I appreciate it, um, you know, tuning in, man. But, um, hey, I'm going to continue, you know, spreading the word on the boxing. Um, this is something that I enjoy. This is something that I enjoy sharing, man. This is something that I've always wanted to be a part of. You know, as a little kid, I've always wanted to be a boxer as well, you know. So, I mean, it was always going to be in my life. And, um even though I'm not a boxer, I can still talk about it and um, I really do appreciate the support and things like that. But um, hey, enough about me, man. You know, there's better news out there. You know, we've got some big fights coming up, man. We've got some big stars stepping up to the plate, you know, and uh, ready to take on some big challenges, man. And you got a fan here ready to watch it, you know what I mean? But um. Thanks for stopping in once again, man. I'm going to finish this coffee off. You know, as I said, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I get over that at least 10-minute mark. Um, I'm sitting at 9 minutes 30 right now. You know what I mean? But um, thanks for tuning in. Um, I appreciate it. And, yep, yeah, um, the music will come. For sure, you know, um, I've got a lot of um, song requests. I think I've got like 12 now, but I'm not going to, I probably won't, you know, get into that too much. I'm going to look at, maybe possibly doing a few covers and then um, 
I may even write my own song and you know and do my own thing with that. But um, today's about boxing, man, and um, I appreciate your guys' time as always. I uh, thank you for stopping in once again, man. It is the aftermath, and um, I will see you soon, man. I will see you soon. Peace. Enjoy the day, man. God bless. Have a good one.